Welcome to this Maverick F training mission for the AV-8B Harrier. Um, now you've probably seen several other videos like this, however this is a little different to most others. Here we're not just going to show you how to fire a single Maverick, we're going to show you how to fire multiple Mavericks as quickly and as far away as possible and getting out of danger before you can be engaged. Okay, we're on board and heading to our IP, uh, which is about 30 nautical miles from the target. As you can see, we have four Mavericks and we also have some company, three other Harriers, which are going to uh, follow us in on the attack. So, we're at the IP, let's hit the next waypoint and head towards the target. Okay, we're now heading roughly towards the target, so we'll hit the autopilot to free up our hands a little bit. Okay, time to set the air to ground master mode and master arm to on. Then we are going to bring up the teapod and enter teapod mode by pressing the sensor select switch twice. Now that we're in teapod mode, Move the teapod towards the general target area and TDC action to ground stabilize. Let's go to IR mode by hitting the sensor select right along. And when we see a target, we can zoom in using sensor select left. Zoom in and out using OSB buttons 3 and 4. Okay, these look like uh, main battle tanks. So we're going to mark this location as a target of opportunity and we're just going to briefly pause the mission to discuss why. So the target of opportunity in this scenario doesn't need to be a precise target location, just the general target area. And if the procedure is followed correctly, it's not actually needed at all. However, it's very easy to make a mistake and lose your target, probably by pressing the Maverick Field of View button at the wrong time, which is also undesignate and will re sight the Maverick Seeker. If you do set a target of opportunity, then you can simply go to the AHSD page, select target 01 or whatever number you selected and redesignate, and this will reslave the Maverick to the target of opportunity location. So, let's continue. That looks like an SA-8, that's going to be a real threat. The rest of the targets look like more battle tanks and some IFVs, so the SA-8 is going to be our first target. And 15 miles that has just started to uh, track us. Let's select IMAV and uncage 
and immediately we will zoom in and press centre select forward to go to IRMV mode and press step on the MFD four times to select all four maps to the target location we have a lock so right Let's have a little pause here as things are going to get a little bit busy. The following procedure should be done as fast as you are comfortable, which is uncage, sensor select forward once, field of view slash zoom if you require it. Now this depends on the target density and if you need to hit a specific target. Here I want to ensure that I hit the tanks and not the IFVs, so I will zoom in. Of course, the zoom is not enough to ID the target here, but I know that the lead units are all tanked from what I saw on the teapot earlier, and the zoom on the Maverick Seeker is enough for that purpose. Then we use the TDC to select your target of choice, and once locked, rifle. Simply repeat until all four missiles have gone, or of course you have been engaged by uh, an enemy uh, SAM site. Okay, so let's continue and see that put into action. seven miles from target a uh, pretty good distance it's time to break right and get out of danger It looks like my normally useless wingmen are following in to take out some more targets. In our later video, I'll be giving some tips on how to make the AI wingmen a little less dumb than they typically are. Hopefully you like part one of this video, if so please hit like and subscribe. I'll be following this up with a similar tutorial on how to quickly engage specific targets which aren't grouped quite so closely together again using IM Africa.